Guys, it finally happened. Hey everybody, Josh the RV Nerd of Vicious RV, and I am glad to finally get my hands on one of these, the 263TH GoPlay Travel Trailer here, available exclusively through all of our Vicious RV locations. So the idea behind this one is what if I don't necessarily need like the full on moving on up to the east side luxury retirement fifth wheel mega toy hauler. I don't need a momentum, a valor, a seismic, something like that. That's where this one comes in right here. People like me who still work for a living, people who aren't at that retirement stage or just casually camp a little more and don't necessarily need all the crazy over the top widgets and whiz bangs. Like what if you don't necessarily need a side by side mega rollover cab ATV? You know, what, what if you just have a couple kayaks or e-bikes or just a motorcycle or two or something like that? That's where this one comes in. But what's great, there's some really good, smart creature comfort feature factors that you're going to use every single time and day that you camp on this. Like it's got that enclosed underbelly. It also has a little bit taller ceiling. It's six foot nine inside. There's a lot of things like this out there at this floor plan that, uh, that are often six and a half foot tall. And that extra three inches might sound dumb, but it's the difference between somebody like me who's over six foot standing in the shower or ducking in the shower. Not to mention extra overhead clearance for anything you might be loading into this. But uh, it, it's carpetless, it's ventless, it's got the tie downs for the cargo, you've got a ramp patio package. So there's people who I think are looking at these who want the simplicity and ease and, and peace of mind of a no slide RV, but want extra living space or just want a patio and they don't want to have to get, uh, you know, something gigantic. That's where these guys come in right here. It's a really interesting thing. It, it, it's it's what I call kind of more of a crossover. It's a, it's a ramper camper, if you will. It's a normal travel trailer that just has a ramp on the back. And I, I need you to keep that feedback coming because your feedback is shaping this. We haven't gotten to everything that everyone has suggested. Um, I don't know that we'll ever get to every single thing that every person suggests, but we are listening and we are working to in, uh, incorporate all that feedback at regular product intervals. One of the things I noticed on this one right away that I kind of like, um, I, I've heard a lot of people talk about how a lot of RVs nowadays, they have these like mixed decors where it's like, it's a little bit of white hair, a little bit of brown there, you know, a little bit of Monica in your life, Mambo number five decor. That's what I'm gonna start calling it. That's a new nerdism, the Mambo number five decor. Moving on though, this one, doesn't have that. And I think it's because it doesn't have a traditional entertainment center, which is normally where a go play would shift to like almost a natural wood tone brown decor. Um, as a result, it's just the all white decor all the way through with the, I guess, sole exception of just this extra little, you know, flip up, flip down kind of dining bar or, uh, you know, just extra little prep space that they have over here looking at the campsite of the RV. Now, the um, uh, white cabinet decor here, it does have a little black streak in it, but it's not that like fade that kind of makes the thing uh, look dirty, you know? I I'm not um, proud to admit that the other day I was helping my wife clean and uh, I was next to our stairs and our banister and I could not get the wall next to it. Like something kept looking dirty and it took me about five minutes to realize um, I was trying to clean the shadow off the wall. And you know what's crazy? is uh <laughs> it, it didn't work now one of the things i noticed as i was walking up to the back of this the uh the, the lights they're actually up a little bit higher they're not all the way down at ground level which makes them just more visible and uh, a little bit easier to see and uh, I, uh overall once again the uh the, the light bright color palette in here and the six foot nine ceiling which is a little bit taller than you find in a lot of these little crossover ramper camper things it really opens up the space but one of the kind of easily missed unsung qualities of this rv is the campsite window coverage and frankly the excellent cross breeze window action that you get going on right here so there's some really uh you know fantastic kind of easy to miss but but easy to enjoy sort of qualities right there now being uh, a, a more simple series it does not have any allowances for like one of those happy jack power bed lift things but i want you to get to see kind of what's going on you know back here so 
First of all, you can see how that table is fully free floating. If you wanna totally get that sucker out of your way, you absolutely can. Each of those benches fold down into a sleeper. And you've also got like um, almost, you know, uh, back seat of your truck style fold down armrests included in those things. So you can have a little more cuddle compliance. You can have a little more population control. It just depends on what you're looking for. You might've noticed though, when it's down in sleeper mode, it doesn't, um, you know, they don't meet in the middle. That's just, how these do it's a pair of jackknife mechanical sofas so they don't meet in the middle which some people dislike some people like the separation they're also not floating cushions that like you have to like wrestle and 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 put somewhere they are just in place so there's you know always a positive and, and negative to nearly anything and that's part of the reason i like to go through and do these videos to help you kind of understand you know what they bring to the table and maybe what they don't bring to the table sometimes. I do like the centralized air in here though. Uh, normally you're gonna find something like that in pretty much any class like this, but sometimes, man, you will run into some unbelievable cutthroat kind of stuff out there. And th the goal behind this is essentials, but smart, not cutthroat. And there, there really is a difference. Like still has sealed edge thermofoil kitchen counters. You got a big stainless farm sink there. Nope you know back or side splash beside the stovetop um well technically no backsplash either but uh remember the stovetops um what do i want to say the, the the folding top is actually what will be your backsplash now this i love down here it does include the stools like uh it doesn't include the um the fake decorations that you're seeing everywhere i guess they're real decorations you get the point never mind i'm stupid um the stools are included and that wheel well that black thing you're looking at that is reinforced so that when this is open and loading mode, you actually can drive up onto it, which is kind of cool. But it, it's the perfect height to act like a little bit of a, uh, a footrest. Now, I'll actually demonstrate that for you in just a second here. First of all, though, let's start cracking open all the storage. So that cabinetry that you see, it's all pocket screwed. It's all lumber core. And that table can fold down so that if you are in, um, you know, loading mode, uh, essentially, it's not necessarily like in the way. Um, the, the good drawer space, not really, it looks like there's a space for a wastebasket under the sink, but that's where the plumbing is. So it's not really a wastebasket place under the sink. That's really, I guess if I'm just going to start nitpicking stuff, that's kind of one of the nitpicks that I have, but I had to be kind of nitpicky to find anything I don't really care for on this. Did you notice, by the way, there's a huge trend in RVing right now where, uh, manufacturers are getting rid of propane ovens. And I'd, I'd like to hear your input on that. You will notice that we have not adopted that trend in our Go Play RVs. Uh, the, the heart, like, you know, a lot of the videos that you watch from me, I'm from Michigan, I'm from the Midwest. But the heart of Bish's RV is out in Idaho. And out West, it, it's like boondock by default and park camp by exception. So things like a, a propane oven, that's an important thing. So that might just be something that's on our radar. And yeah, it might cost a couple more bucks, but there's some folks that without it, I don't know that their RV functions the same. Look at the power outlet locations. Right on either side of that shelf, that could be a perfect little laptop warrior station. And notice how they're actually mounted in the sidewall. They can get away with that here because it is a, for lack of a better way of saying it, stick built camper. So if you, uh, you know, if the, it's, it's got studs in the walls, kind of like your house. So we can put, you know, outlets kind of wherever. Now this is a dual entry uh, bathroom or technically dual entry bedroom and bathroom. Um, personally, I, I think I could get by without the second door over there be, between the toilet and the uh, sink, giving you a little room uh, or a look at how much room there is around the toilet. It's fantastic. And similarly, with that taller ceiling, there's some excellent headroom up here in the shower. However, it is a radius shower. Um, that means that while I have good headroom, I don't always have the best elbow room. So here's a little pro tip for you from Uncle Josh. To get the most headroom, make sure you're facing your knobs because that will give you the most elbow room, not headroom. I don't know, like the direction you face isn't gonna change your headroom. I'm just, I'm juggling too many words in my head at one time. And I love that it's a full medicine cabinet, not just a mirror glued against the wall. Just little stupid details like that are so, so handy, you know? Uh, by the way, your bedroom 
and bathroom doors, they do lock, although the, the sliding bedroom door, that doesn't specifically lock. You'll have to kind of keep an eye on that. And this is one thing that's on my personal hit list that I would like to see updated and changed on the go plays. Uh, we're weighing a lot of different options. I would like it to come from the factory with an 80 inch long mattress. This comes from the factory right now with a, uh, what is it? A short queen, a 74, 75 inch, something like that, uh, long mattress, still 60 inches wide. And I do think looking at it, there is room in there for a true queen if you're so inclined. So my argument is why not just do it then? You know, because people who are a little bit shorter, do you care if the mattress is a little bit longer? People who are a little bit taller typically very much care if the mattress is a little bit shorter. That's kind of the way that I look at it. TV hookups on the wall over here, most folks probably aren't going to use them. If you do, definitely get yourself a swing arm TV mount. And this is our charge controller over here. Um, these are now factory standard. It's a 30 amp. Uh, it is a PWM controller, so it's not a, a, a big, amazing Victron thing. It's a GoPower 30 amp controller, though. It's not terrible. You know, that's that's kind of the whole concept of the Go Plays here. It's nothing is necessarily over the top. It's it's is the juice worth the squeeze? And that's that's the goal here. Now, back in that corner, you've got a wireless phone charge pad. But if you click it, it actually pops up like a little pop up power tower. And it's got a pair of USB plugs in it. And giving you a look here at the bedroom storage that we do have, you can see how you've got, uh, you know, your hanging wardrobe towers on both sides. You've also got full storage going on below the bed, which is very easy lift, which is something that I really appreciate that we still have gas struts on these. Um, short of that, I thought I would just give you a, uh, a quick look at it. Like if you come out of the bedroom, bathroom, or if you come in the entry door, this is kind of what you're looking at right here. One of the things that I like about it, it's got a nice, decent, open flow uh, about it. Now keep in mind, you're seeing price tags all over this thing. We have this at a display here. One of the other really cool things with GoPlay RVs is that we've pretty much standardized the pricing uh, to the greatest of our ability. There are a couple instances where some shipping costs do predicate a slightly different price on the same model at a few of our different stores. But for the most part, we did everything we could to make this as simple, easy, direct, and consistent as possible, which is not something you often run into in the RV industry. Now, if you're looking at this, the, the question, is it half ton towable kind of comes up. And the answer to that is really it's going to vary. Um, toy haulers, even a casual ramper camper like this, are notoriously heavy on the tongue weight. Um, they're, they're really intended to have a decent load, you know, like a thousand pounds or so on or behind the axles. Uh, and, and that kind of, it's called a cantilever effect. It sort of skews the tongue weight. Um, if you're looking at this, you might notice it does have the ramp patio hookups. It does go into patio mode, but it is, uh, I'm looking at the tongue of that ramp and it's under the trailer behind it. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to pull that off for you, apologies. It does have some roll down tent screen walls right here. Now there's not a three seasons wall option. Like there are no options on these. The go plays are just the go plays. And if they don't work for you, that's okay. We have other things, but literally by not having options, we're able to reduce the cost, the production cost of the RV. It sounds crazy. You're like, what do you mean? If I don't add the option, why would it cost? Simply having an option available increases the base cost of the RV because the manufacturers have to take staff time to help manage all the different parts. Even if they're not necessarily included on this RV, they still have to kind of track everything. So zero options means zero additional unnecessary costs. Now you can see how the windows are tinted, which is nice. I could, I've talked about this before. Even though these are our series of trailers, there's still some things that maybe I'm not a super fan of. Like I don't love the outside blow the neighbor away uh, speaker system here. I just personally, I'd probably shut the outside speakers off if I personally purchased something like this. And I just put a portable Bluetooth speaker like on my picnic table and I'd call it macaroni. I don't know why I'd call the speaker macaroni, but I would. That's just how I roll, guys. Um, overall, I do kind of like the color and, and look of this. It's just very, I don't know, like it's modern but rustic at the same time. Does that make sense? I don't know. And if you look at it, it kind of feels like maybe a bigger awning would be in order. But if you notice, we kind of threaded the needle on the back awning arm between those windows and between the front window and front baggage door. So we kind of put the biggest one on it that we really could. There wasn't a whole lot else available. Now these are currently coming with 30 pound propane tanks. I personally feel like 20 pounds would be enough, but hey, the fact is they're coming with 30 pounders right now. So you're getting 50% more propane included on one of these. Something else that's kind of handy, these do have magnet holdbacks on the baggage doors. 
So everything is just basically simple, easy, one-handable. And you might notice it is a nice big pass-through with large baggage doors on both sides. And as dumb as this sounds, when you're in a more budget-class trailer like this, having any sort of lighting in a front pass-through compartment is frankly rather uncommon. Now jumping over to the other side here, uh, between the trailers where nobody expects you to look, I'm, I'm very pleased with my team that uh, they did clean both sides of the trailers for this display. I see some groups not always do that. I like that extra attention to detail. I hope that translates into your final pickup day kind of situation. Um, not much to see over here, but you know, you're, if you're buying the whole trailer, I want you to, to be able to see everything you can. This is a basic little docking station, but it does also have a hot, cold outside utility shower. That's where your water fills and hookup and uh, cable hookup would be. One of the other really nice things here, this is a uh, single-headed sewer monster. Uh, so it's only got a single Kenny Loggins danger zone uh, effectively on there but everything does plumb all into one shot and as long as i'm down here i got a neat little opportunity to kind of showcase something how it does have a galvanized steel wheel well right there um i hope you never need that but it's kind of like cough medicine i hope you never need cough medicine but god forbid uh i i'd like you to be able to you know treat the cough so if you do have a blowout it's just an extra little prevention measure um you know before you really damage up your rv and you see the bracket in the far corner up there that is uh these are all prepped and ready for those telescopic removable ladders because they do have a full walk-on snow load roof um, they don't include a factory ladder, but like, uh, you know, if that's the only thing you need to go camping, you're like, I like everything about this, but it needs a ladder. Call our team. <laughs> we got ladders. So let me know what you think about this one here. You know, did it live up to the expectations? Is there something else we could do with this to make it a little bit better? Like, what do we need to do uh, to, to crank it up to Latin, like Spinal Tap style? Um... Now I've got Tonight I'm Gonna Rock You Tonight stuck in my head, which the music from that uh, movie, absolutely fantastic. If you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, look up This Is Spinal Tap. It's, it's worth a watch for sure. And when you're ready, we're ready. Remember, you can get these at any of our Bicious RV locations, although we have bulk stock of these at several specific distribution points uh, around the nation. Um, we'll leave you links to like our Wayfinder website and everything. Um, the, the goal here is to make the process simple and easy for you. And one of the other cool things is not only can we get these at any of our Bicious stores for you, but any and every Bicious store will always call you home. Now that's true Not if, if you don't buy GoPlay. You can buy a used RV from us and we still do that. But that's, that's the goal that we're working toward, to make uh, owning uh, an RV or working on an RV less of a headache. We're not there yet, but we're trying. So when you're ready, we're ready. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone. Or go play, everyone. <laughs>